about to be court is now in session. Judge, this is the case of the Pearsons. Thank you. You all may be seated. Ms. Pearson, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Well, we had been together for a really long time. About four years ago, we decided to adopt a child. And um, she broke up with me about four years ago. I mean, uh, about two years ago and stopped paying child support. And so I have had all the responsibility of our daughter and um, she not, barely comes ma around. That's really not ma true. let her finish. Oh. You will have your opportunity to speak. Okay. Okay. I can roll my eyes too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. She never sees our daughter. And recently she just changed jobs. She was making a lot of money and she just dropped jobs so that because right when I started talking to her about child support, she changed jobs because she didn't want to she wanted to make sure that she wasn't ever going to have to pay anything more than what okay, she Okay, ma'am, where, where do you used to work? I was a teacher. Okay. How much were you making as a teacher? Oh, I think around 40000 Are you sure about that? Well. Because based on the paperwork that you provided, your teacher's salary was $55,000 a year. That doesn't include what I put into profit sharing. Is that true or not? $55,000. Your documents are correct, okay. right? Okay, that's probably true. Okay. It's not a probably. That's you true. submitted it. Thank you. Okay. $55,000 a year. How much are you making now? Like, what are you, where are you working at now? Well, I'm working at a store as a clerk, and I'm making $30,000 a year now. Okay, and you said you're a teacher, so yes. what type of degrees do you have for that? I have a degree in economics. Okay, you have one degree or you have multiple degrees? Well, and I have my master's in accounting. You have a master's in accounting and you're working as a clerk? Yes. What are you doing at this job? Well, I help people find clothes. Like a retail the, clerk? Yes. Ma'am, you have a master's degree. Yes, Did, but I don't have to make all that money. No, you. If I'm just going to give it all away anyway. So let me let me get something straight. She's deliberately, what you're saying is she's deliberately working at this retail job. Now I get it. I can do you any know, job you, I want. You know what? Your character is not looking very cute to me at all because you have tried to misrepresent to me what is really going on in this case. You stopped working as a teacher so you would not have to pay that higher amount in child support. Is that not the case? Well. Well, is that not the case? Well, we discussed it and she didn't seem to have an objection. And I just thought I was paying enough. No. And when I talked to my daughter, she loves me more anyway. And she should come live with me. I know that's not a matter for this court. Right, that's that's definitely not a matter for what we're here on today because based on what we've already discussed, the child lives with her, correct? Yes. Okay, and you're not providing any type of financial support anymore, correct? I provide emotional support all the time. The child... You know I, what, that is not... You know, you, you cannot quantify emotional support. Stop it. I'm just going to go on with what I need to do because you obviously came here to play games today. No, my baby yes, loves me. Yes, you did. She loves me more than And your than baby she loves needs her. money. It doesn't matter. It she doesn't matter. Me. Your baby needs money and you want to do what's in her best interest. So, what I'm going to do, how how long ago did she stop working as a teacher? Was it recent? Yes. How recent? 6 months ago. 6 months ago? Yeah. No, ma'am. Your child support is going to be set at that $55,000. Because right. it sounds like you are intentionally underemployed, so you do not have to pay a higher amount in child support. And that is ridiculous because you're not cheating her. You're cheating your child. So, based on $55,000 a year, I have your gross at $4,583.33. Is there a reason your mouth is open? Do you need some water? Uh, I just can't believe you're being so mean. Oh, I'm not being mean at all, ma'am. You, on the other hand, are being mean. You deliberately stopped working. You have a master's degree 
and you went to a retail store, so you would not have to pay for your daughter. Well, that's my prerogative. Well, you yeah. know, it is my prerogative to read these numbers out to you. Keep listening. So, I have your net at $3,794.48. Who carries child, um, excuse me, health insurance for the child? I do. You I do. do everything. Based on this, I see health insurance at $1,200 a month. Well, ma'am, where do you work? I work for the airlines. Okay. And the $1,200 is for me and the child. Okay. The child portion is $400. Okay, That's I'm ridiculous. seeing that. I'm seeing Isn't that. It? that. It, no, it's ridiculous that you're not paying. But guess what? You're getting ready to pay now and you're going to repay whatever the amount is for the child. Well, $400. She doesn't even love our daughter. She loves her four cats more than our daughter. Ma'am, you know what? How that had, you know that you is not, excuse me, the two of you will address me, and that is not an issue for this court. Nobody cares about what's going on with the cats. We okay. care about what's going on with the child. No, no offense to your cats. That's not what I mean. I mean in terms of calculating this child support. So, health insurance, you're going to be responsible for reimbursing that. So I have your child support obligation at $758.90 plus $400 for the monthly health insurance comes out to $1,158.90. Am I paying the whole $400 a month or is she paying any of it? Did you hear me put you on a payment plan for that? If you didn't, you're paying the full amount, $1,158.90. And I need you to close your mouth because I just don't understand why you're so looking so confused right now. The ca is, child support is based on the calculation. Okay, is there anything further? I'm not making that much anymore. Well, you may, but you just testify, right? And you, right. That you intentionally are working at a lower paying job, right? Right. Okay, so I have the discretion to set your child support at that same amount that you were making as a teacher because you can make more than oh. what you're currently making as a clerk. Well, if I there's didn't know that. Well, you know now. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Well, can you make her come see the baby, the, our child? I can't make her, but ma'am, please go visit with the child. Do not punish the child because you're upset. Are you uh, mad at the cats? I mean, do, I, don't, don't I punish don't the child. I around the cats. Can you put the cats away when yes. I come? Ma'am, put the cats long. away so she can yes. come visit with they the child. Come visit. Yes. Thank you. You it's all are dismissed. It's sad. It's sad. Hi guys, it's Vonda Bailey, and I'm coming to you as the lawyer this time. We have arrived at the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what this segment will cover and how the different scenarios interact with child support under Texas law. I just wanted to go over what you all just watched in this particular episode. If you all notice, the people in this particular situation are two females. Just so you know, under Texas law, it does not matter what your sexual orientation is. You can still receive some sort of relief from the court that absolutely has no bearing on the outcome of your case. In this particular case, she stopped working at the higher paying job and started working at the lower paying job intentionally. She actually admitted that in court. No court is gonna give you any type of relief to reduce your child support just so you can evade your child support obligation at that higher rate. It doesn't work like that. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Bondaby.